Okay, so this problem says um, draw both chair conformations of cis 1,3 dimethyl cyclohexane and indicate their relative energies and circle the more stable of the two conformers. Okay? So it says cis 1,3 dimethyl. Okay? So the first thing we want to do. Well, not the chair I'm for the structure. The, yeah, just the cyclohexane structure, right? So bond line structure, and then from there we need to find the relative positions one and three, right? And it says, I can't remember. It says tran, no, six, right? So cis means what? Same. Same. The same side. So they're both going to be pointed which way, right? Up or down? Doesn't matter. Okay. So it can be wedges or dashes. I prefer wedges, so that's the way I'm going to put it. Don't have to do that. Okay, so it wants to, when it says the more stable conformation, it's talking about the chair conformation. That's what it's talking about. So we need to convert this to the chair conformation. So remember, one, two, three, like that. Draw a chair. Okay. So the first one, what is that? Up or down? Uh, up. Uh, and this one? Down. Uh, up. up. What? Look at the wedges. Oh, I was like, whoa, what? Okay. Yeah. So if it's up there, it's gotta be what? Over up. here. Uh, up. up here, right? Mm -hmm. So I like to start here as carbon one. So what is it going to be? Axial or equatorial? Axial. Axial, axial because axial's up. Axial's up. So that's a methyl group. That's one. One, two, three. Okay? Okay. So this one is up here, right? So what is it going to be here? Up, well. up as well. So is it going to be axial or equatorial on three? Axial. Axial. So would you expect that this would be a very stable conformer? No. no. Why not? It's got a large axial position. Yeah, you got a one large one three diaxial interaction there. Remember? So remember this is bad interaction, these two groups. Called one three diaxial interaction. So what's going to happen when we ring flip? Tell me about that. Yeah, so they go from axial to what? Equatorial. Equatorial. What do they do? Do they go from up to down? No. Uh -huh. So they stay up, but they go from axial to equatorial. Okay? So, ugly chair, but whatever. So, up. I like to put it there, right? So which way did we say it was going to be? Yeah. Up. Up. Up what? Up equatorial. Equatorial. So where would I put it? Yeah. That, yeah. right? Okay, so remember parallel to that guy or to that guy. Like that. So one, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. Which one's, where's this going to be? Up equatorial, very good. Very good. That's very good. Very impressive. Okay? So are these equilibrium arrows the way I'm showing them? Is that correct? They should be equal? No. Back and forth? No. Which way should they be? Yeah, Pointed to towards. The right. To the right, right? Because this isn't going to want to go that way, right? Because this is steric hindrance because of that, right? Diaxial interaction. So if we wanted to do it. So I think it says predict that and then circle the more stable. Okay? Just to emphasize what we were talking about. So up, 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 up. Notice they didn't change. The up didn't change, okay? But when we ring flipped, we went from axial to a 
equatorial. So up axial to up equatorial. So whenever you ring flip, are you, is it going to be the opposite of what you did on the first one? As far as the axial? Axial equatorial, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Still low cis. Yeah, so this is, this is cis, right? It's not like we performed a reaction, right? We just did a conformational change, okay? So if we didn't form a, perform a reaction, then we couldn't have changed what the molecule was. So it's still a cis isomer. Any other questions?